Hello everybody and welcome to the first of four remote control tractors which we're going to try out in the coming weeks. This is the first of four and it's a Siku Control John Deere 8345R and this has got metal and plastic parts and it should be good quality, 1 in 32. I've had one of these before, a Fent version and that was very good quality. The only reason I sold it is because I didn't really have time for it anymore. But looking to get back into it again. So this should be very impressive, I'm really looking forward to having to go with this. There it is in the box with the controller. It's a different controller to what it used to be. And here on the back of the box, there is a lot of different languages here, but it says radio control model, one in 32, adjustable speed control, adjustable steering, headlights, rear lights, one driving and one servo motor. Can be used with the CQ Pharma one in 32 products, so those without the radio control function. Data interface for additional equipment, and this tractor also requires five batteries. Now, CQ do actually recommend rechargeable batteries, but the normal ones do work. Here's a picture of the tractor on the back of the box showing you all the different things that work on it. There are quite a lot of things that work, so we're going to look into that later on when we're actually playing with it. The headlights being the main thing. And now we're going to get it out of the box and see what it looks like in close detail. Never too good with this, I always tend to break something when removing it. And it also comes with the instructions as well. So here is the above view of the controller and the tractor. I did buy this new but it seems to be covered in a lot of fluff as if it's already been used. So I don't know if it is actually new or not, but it should have been. I paid for a new one. But there's the controller, quite an ergonomical design. Nice thing to use, hopefully and the tractor, very carefully lift it out of here without breaking the beacons off. Now the beacons on this particular model don't work, but they do on one of the ones I'm gonna do in the future. So that's that part done. I've actually managed to remove it from the box without breaking anything. It's a miracle. So now we're gonna have a close look at it and then we'll put some batteries in and give it a go. It also has wing mirrors which you can fold in, probably a good thing because they'll break off otherwise in the box. And looking from the back view you can see this very nice mesh John Deere logo on the back window which is very nice and if we go down a bit you will see that there is the battery compartment, obviously not a highlight but that is where you put the batteries in and also there's a port there which is for the accessories which you can buy for this particular model. Now I'm going to put the batteries in, so what you need is a flathead screwdriver or something else suitable, I guess a coin could work. Unscrew the screw in the back of the compartment and then that should pull out and there's space for three AAA batteries in here, 1.5 volts. So I'm going to put those in now, put it back together and see if it works. That's the tractor done and the remote controller also requires two AAA batteries as well and you can do that by using the same method as the tractor. Looking around the back of the tractor you can now see the detail on those screens inside the cab. And a view from the side close up you can also see things like the fuel filter in the side of the engine. You may also notice there is a linkage on the front of the tractor as well. This is compatible with the other CQ products. Now we need to turn the tractor on using the switch underneath. The lights will then flash waiting for connection to the handset. All you have to do is turn the remote controller on and it should go static. And that means that it has successfully connected and it should all work. So we'll just give it a go, make sure it's all working on the model farm. I 
I've also got this Bergman CQ1 in 32 model for a manure spreader. I actually got this in the year 2000, so almost 16 years ago. And it should fit, despite the age difference, as it is the same make and the same scale. Now we've had a play with the tractor, it's probably a good opportunity to take a close look at the remote control. We've first of all got the on and off button. We've then got X and an O, which I think are spares, plus and minus, and therefore any accessories you want to use with the tractor. We then have the steering, and this is the steering knob, which you can obviously turn the tractor left and right, and it auto centers as well. So that's very easy to use, very ergonomical design. And then at the front, we have the forward and backwards lever, which you can actually control with just one finger. Also, in case you're wondering, this actually has a top speed of 0.2 meters per second using a fully charged 1.5 volt battery. It also weighs 600 grams, so not very heavy, and also is 2.4 gigahertz for radio control unit, in case you're wondering about the frequency. As it's got lights, it's probably a good idea to give it a go in the dark. So there we have the unboxing and demonstration of the CQ Control John Deere 8345R tractor. We will be doing some more with this tractor in the future when we've unboxed and demonstrated the other ones, but that is it from this one for now. We'll put it back in the shed and we'll leave it there until we've done all four. We can line them up in each bay and have a look at them all together at the end. So that is it. Thanks for watching everyone. You can join me again the same time next Monday for the next one and we'll be continuing for the next four to five weeks doing a different model every day. So thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed this episode and bye for now.